Who in this room has a four through six year old child? Show of hands if you have a four through six year old child. Maria is six years old. Cute, probably, cute, gifted. Tonight when you go home from work, slide your car keys across the table to Maria and say, Maria, milk, bread, eggs. <laughs> if, a, if a person gave her an IQ test, the, her IQ might be like 120, 130. She might be really, truly gifted. But she can't take the car keys and drive the car to the store. Would we all agree on that? She would be, that would be setting this child up for, at a minimum, a lack of success. Is that a fair statement, Edward? May be perfectly gifted, and 12 years from now, she may be at Stanford on a full ride for engineering, for all we know. You guys, you guys see the point here? From an evolutionary perspective, Eric, this child's not ready to drive a car yet. Doesn't mean she's not bright. Doesn't mean she's not capable. It just doesn't make any sense right now to give a five-year-old car keys. This old 80s adage of giving high performance, get, let's get high performance team, give them a goal and get out of the way, that's giving a five-year-old car keys. It turns out one of the laws of human behavior, Jason, is that when you put humans together, the first thing we do, Will, is we give them a common mission and common goals. Boom, they're born. That is now GSF University steering team come from all over the country. We're going to start this thing. This is our mission. This is our outcome. This is our goals. We're now, here's your jerseys. It's the first day of practice. Here's your jerseys. Now you're on the team. When you come to a new team, it's just formed. It's a newborn. You, you, don't, you can't function yet. You don't trust one another. You don't know what the roles are. You don't know where your boundaries stop and start. It's just, right? We agree?